when you come here to give birth and you tell them they're going to be protected and safe and that their babies will be well taken care of and you know that's a lie. Elizabeth, I know this is frightening. You, you've been searching this entire hospital when Aiden could be out there anywhere. We, we do have some leads to go on. I mean, we know that, that Franco was... Franco fine. is dead! Because of Jason and now some lunatic has my baby. I'm going to do everything I can to get him back to you. Ow, Lucky. I don't even know where to look. I mean, why don't you just admit it? You really have Elizabeth, nothing, right? Elizabeth, you Elizabeth, have nothing. We can't give up hope, okay? We have to stay strong for Aiden. Come on. I'm trying. I'm trying. I know. I know. Listen, there's, uh, there's no more need for the lockdown. You can go ahead and lift it. Your sister's right. Aiden could be anywhere by now. I mean, anything you have to do. Something. I will, I'll promise. I'll do everything I can to get him back, okay? What if, what if Jane Martin wants to keep him? What kind of, why would she want to keep him? I don't know, him? but what if we're maybe, maybe now that Frank was dead, maybe she doesn't want him anymore. I mean, you read all the time in the papers about me just being found. Listen to me. We'll find him. I promise we're going to find him. He'll come back to us, okay? Okay. <laughs> This turns you on more than anything you get from that mousy little thing that you're married to. I love my wife. <laughs> oh, so you say, but I'm the one that you want. Listen, stop it. I am a happily married man. Uh, well, it depends on your version of happiness. I mean, there's your frigid, snippy little wife, or there's wild, uninhibited passion. Obviously, you're looking too far into this. We shared a past, and that is it. Okay, and every time that it's brought up, the conversation somehow finds its way around to great sex. The weekend in Greenwich, the party on the rooftop of the dormitory. Do I okay, need to go yes, on? Yes, fine. I flirted with you. I will accept that. Because you missed what we had. When I started dating Steve, you became insanely jealous. It made you crazy, the thought of him having what was yours. I would hardly say that you were mine. <laughs> and then you finally got what you wanted. We were drunk. I was missing my wife. And it brought back it. the good old days, didn't it? You are delusional. I wasn't delusional when you were having sex with me. This is enough. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go what? down there, lock down or not, and I'm getting in. I will bluster legalese at them until I wear them down, and you know I can do that. I'll just shut up and let you do the talking, huh? Oh, praise God. Go, go. He finally gets it. Okay. When I think about what could have happened Don't worry about it. Christina's going to be fine. Dante, I really appreciate this, but just stop. You know, Christina almost lost her life because of John. Your father was responsible for that bombing, you know it. Come on, John, you're acting like you don't have any enemies in Port Charles. The Lopez brothers are known The Lopez brothers were the scapegoat. Sonny did it, but you're too big of a hypocrite to admit that. You know, you walk around this town flashing your badge in the name of truth and justice when you're protecting your father. That's why when Sonny shot you point blank in the chest, you went and claimed that you were cleaning your gun and accidentally shot yourself. You perjured yourself instead of sending your father to prison where he belongs. Why, you don't care about justice. You want revenge for your sister. And Sonny didn't kill Claudia. No, Sonny may not have swung that axe handle, but he is responsible for her death just the same, and you know it. Did you, did you tell him that you were friends with Sonny? Yes, I made that very clear. So let me guess, he started hitting on you right after that, right? He's using you, Brooke. Come on, let me take you home, please. Please, Brooke. with you. Yeah, okay, but really the odds of that happening are, I don't know, you could potentially stay there forever, God forbid, get killed. I'm gonna have to take my chances and try to survive without getting a longer sentence. I'm sorry, but those are really lousy odds. I'm sorry. I just, 
I wish things could be different. But it's too late to change. And can you forgive me for this choice? Someone to accept that. 